This is an ultrasound evaluation for renal stenosis. This first image is a longitudinal scanning plane of the right kidney, and the length of the kidney has been measured is 9.9 .9 centimeters. That is easily within the normal range of 9 to 13. There's another measurement of the right uh, kidney at 9.7 centimeters and a third measurement at 9.98 centimeters. All of these are normal. Also of note is a normal parenchymal thickness in the appearance of the kidney. The kidney is also slightly hypoechoic when compared to the liver and the center of the kidney, the renal pelvis, is more echogenic than the liver. And uh, this is the normal relationship that we see in grayscale imaging of the kidney. This is a color Doppler with a pulse Doppler interrogation of a vessel in the uh, distal part of the kidney in the uh, cortex. Uh, this is likely a arcuate artery and we have a resistive index of 0.6, which is normal. There is no angle correction set on this. There is no need to set the angle correction for a uh, resistive index measurement. This is a one of the interlobar vessels that has been measured. And again, we've got a normal uh, resistive index of uh, 0.6. This is a beautiful image of the origin and distal portions of the right renal artery coming off the aorta. This is the proximal portion of the right renal artery. This is the area where most disease will be found and we get a uh, normal uh, resistance uh, index and we get a peak systolic velocity of approximately 64 centimeters per second. In the middle portion of this artery, we get a peak, uh, peak systole velocity of uh, 82 centimeters per, cent per second, and uh, the resistive index is 0.55. These are normal numbers. In the distal portion of the right renal, uh, in the right renal pelvis, in the right renal artery, we get a uh, peak systolic velocity of 93 centimeters per second. The resistive index is still over 0.5. Uh, the uh, angle correct appears to be a bit off on this particular image, but still the velocity uh, at peak systole is less than 180 centimeters per second. This is a look at uh, peak systolic velocity in the aorta. And uh, we get uh, 85.8 centimeters per second. Uh, this is, uh, indicates that the right renal artery is far less than three and a half times the peak systolic velocity of the aorta. And uh, by velocity standards is normal. We're now measuring the left kidney. Uh, we get a 9.8 centimeter measurement. There is a good uh, renal parenchymal thickness here. We want it to at least be a centimeter. Each one of these lines here is a centimeter. So this is close to two centimeters across. Another image of the uh, left uh, kidney in length and a third measurement, all of which are over nine and in the normal range of nine to 13 centimeters. The echogenicity of the kidney and the shape also appear normal. This is a measurement of one of the arcuate arteries and we get a resistive index of 0.54. Uh, this is a poor quality signal, but uh, still uh, I think a reasonable estimation of the renal uh, resistive index at uh, 0.54.
that's over 0.5 and under 0.7 it's normal. This is now a measurement of one of the inner low bar measurements and this is a nice uh, pulse Doppler waveform. We get a peak systolic velocity of 30 and the uh, renal uh, resistive index is 0.54. This peak systolic velocity does have any meaning because we don't have an angle correct here. If we look at this waveform, we see a very sharp upstroke and a, uh, a nice uh, down plateau. If we look careful here, we can see a little notch in this part of the waveform and a tiny one here. It shows up a little bit here. This is the pre dichrotic notch or post peak systole notch, and this is a normal feature of a renal artery. This is the distal portion of the uh, left renal artery and uh, we are getting a velocity of 34 centimeters per second. It's difficult to appreciate whether that angle correct has been set uh, correctly because of the uh, absence of color flow information on this image. We do have a sharp upstroke, no parvus tardis evidence at this point. This is now uh, another signal, and uh, we can see now that we've got a peak systolic velocity of uh, 48 centimeters per second, a very nice sharp upstroke, and a post-peak systolic notch here, a normal feature of the waveform. Here's the middle portion of the left renal artery that fills well with color. And uh, now we are looking at the aorta in an area near the renal artery, but above the origin of the renal arteries. We always want to measure above. It should be monophasic. It is. We get a peak systolic velocity of 50, although it's hard to determine whether or not uh, this uh, angle is set correctly. So we get uh, a summary of the results here. And both renal arteries uh, are under 180 centimeters per second. Both renal arteries uh, are less than, uh, are velocities that are far less than three and a half times the peak systolic aortic velocity. Uh, so this is a normal renal Doppler.